So, in our video, we will see how to use JavaScript functions. We will discuss two functions of JavaScript. First one is JavaScript on change function and second one is JavaScript on click function. So, for that reason, we have to create one form. That form would be that form will be the hotel booking form. So now I am going to view then syntax then HTML HTML hotel booking hotel booking form. So we are taking body BG color yellow then we are taking text blue okay now we are taking uh, form now form closed we are taking table table border to table close now tr th call span 2 hotel booking form th close now we are closing tr again we are taking tr then th then we are taking enter name enter name then th input type input type text id id name now we are closing it then tr then t just we have to copy tr to tr and again we will take similar like that that will be our mobile it will be mobile number input type text it will be mobile then I am taking in, in mobile hotel type then we are taking hotel type mm -hmm. not required tr th hotel room type room type then we are taking th uh, select select id select id choice option value ac ac option value non ac non ac then we are changing select then we are closing these options then we are closing this now we have to take another text box where we have to see the fees right i am just copying this and pasting over here that will be our fees right fees so that id should be fees okay so fee uh, sorry uh, that will be what rate 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 so it will be id rate so we will choose ac or non ac the value will come at the rate text box now we have to take number of days right we have to take number of to take 
number of days. It will be closing. That will be closing tier. Here would be another tier. And here would be closing tier. Another tier, closing tier, tier, closing tier, right? We have to copy paste. It will be number of days. So input type text id equals to days. So it will be tier close, right? Now total would be similar like that. Input type text total. We will be taking total, right? Total. And input type text, this will be total. Now we have to take two button, right? Now we are taking input type, input type button, input type button, id, calculate, value, value, calculate, uh, input type button id calculate value calculate right so now th close tr close our form is ready now table close form close save it at desktop write it hotel form hotel form dot html right save it and now right click open in browser mm. yes this is the hotel form we have com completed so if we choose ac the rate should be thousand if we choose non ac the rate should be 500 it will be created in javascript right so how to create this just go to the code again now the function is select id choice on change on change rate choice rate choice so we are taking one function the name is rate choice we have to go to the script option we have to go to script option under here so now this is script right and we are closing the script also and we are taking function this one now we have to take variable uh, variable rate equals to document document dot get element by id what is the value? Car value tool beta. Now uh, choice. So it will be choice dot value. Okay. If so we will check choice. We will take one variable that is choice. In the choice variable, we are taking AC or non AC. If if choice equals to equals to first one ac right then we have to take document dot get element by id what will be the id of the uh, uh, rate field the id of rate field should be rate so it will be to rate dot value equals to thousand otherwise else else the value should be how much 500 right so it will be how much 500 clear save it
now we are going to the form again if we choose non ac it will come 500 if we choose ac it will come 1000 i have to zoom it again this is the value if we choose non ac it will be 500 if we choose ac it will be 1000 first task is completed then the second task number of days will be given by the user then we have to calculate the total value okay so now we are coming to the total so uh, total so for total we have to assign another function right calculate so we have to take another function on click right so on click we went on click calculate on click calculate so function name is what calculate right cal u cal u let right so function name is what calculate again we have to write the function at script function calculate so another function function calculate right here also we have to take uh, uh, the value which value we have to take the red value okay. so we have to take the red value. here we have to take where red equals to red okay again we have to take what we have to take variable which variable day right day day okay in day which the value we have to take day number of days so id should be days right so it will be days now now where total equals to relate into what day okay now we have to click which this one which text box total so it will be total total dot value equals to which one total because the variable is total right so, and now we have to see the calculation part see if we choose non is it is 500 number of days suppose 5 it will calculate click on calculate not calculating why variable rate document dot get element by id rate dot value variable day document dot get element by id days dot value variable total equals to rate into day and the uh, total dot by id total dot value equals to total no function calculate function calculate So this is rate. Now we are taking F5. We have to press F5. It will again reload. Now non is C. Now number of days 5. Calculate. Sir, if you want to give that is a very good thing. Now, what do we need to do? Uh, function calculate, right? Function calculate 2. It will be calculate 2 now, and it will be calculate 2. Calculate function calculate to where rate equals to document dot get element by id rate dot value where day equals to document dot get element by id days dot value where total rate into day 
document dot get element by id total dot value equals to total so that will read two that will day two that will total two so it will be read two into day two now that will be total two now we have to see the variable name i am doing different so now we are taking non ac number of days five now calculate to five double zero if we take ac number of days seven seven thousand clear now the gst part we have to add now the gst part we have to add up to total it is clear now the gst part we have to add so how to add gst part just you have to take another variable gst so now you have to take gst var gst equals to uh, total to total to uh, total to total to multiply by 18% so it will be 18 by 100 matlab 0.18 right now it will calculate now var total 3 equals to total 2 plus gst right so we have already calculated now we have to take another two fields so similar like the total we have to take two field one is one is gst so it will be what is the id gst2 gst or uh, this will be net total net total equal to total 3 now total 3 gst so gst the value we have to take now we have to calculate So uh, this one is what? GST. Now this one is this one is what? Total three. Total three, right? Now everything is done. I hope it really works. AC, sorry, non AC, number of date 25, through 500, GST 450, it will be 2950. Clear? If you take AC and if you stay for 5 days, that will be 5000. GST of 80%, 18%, that will be 900. You have to pay 5900. That's all. And I am just giving the quick overview of the entire code. Just see the entire code. Thank you. Thanks for watching. What's that for the interview? How's that? What is the one case?